Hey friends, Sleepy here and welcome to a new episode in my community question series. We're on episode 11 now. I want to just thank you guys so much for all your participation in my uh, question series. I have had a blast with this uh, series. I would love reading your guys' comments, answering the questions, and I have loved the people who have filmed video responses to these uh, questions. I thoroughly enjoyed uh, watching them, and I appreciate every single one of you who support my channel and interact with me. You know, I just love games. I have a passion for it, and I love sharing that with others who share the same passions I do. So I really appreciate all your guys' support on this series, and it's just great to you know get different perspectives on these questions, and I've just had a fun with this series. I do want to remind everybody, again, I will be having a contest at the end of this question series, and every video that you respond to, you get entries into that, and you can get up to two if you do the answer the question as a comment, and you also film a video response if you do both, not required, but you can get two entries into the contest uh, at the and we have it for every video and you can go back any videos you missed in the previous one I do have a playlist created that I put all these videos in. like I said we're now at 11 so if you missed any of the previous 10 episodes you can go back and answer them all the way up until the conclusion of the uh, contest but that's you know ways off here you know so I got lots of more questions to ask you before we get to that but I will have a couple different prizes I would like to give out like three or four um, gifts to different people so I want to have more than just one winner so I should have like three or four for that and I'm looking for good uh, games and prize collectibles for that so be on the lookout for them in the future so for today's video I want to know do you guys enjoy buying and collecting collectibles like toys figures books art prints maybe hats or t-shirts you know like, like collectible stuff for your collection more than like clothing but more like I mean, sometimes you can have clothes, maybe you hang them on the wall or something, but do you guys like buying collectibles like figures and plush dolls and things like that? Now, me personally, um, I always have. I just haven't had a, a massive amount of them, but in the last couple of years, I've actually been buying a lot more of them for my uh, collection. I actually have quite a few around the game room here, and I'm actually going to take you guys around and show you guys some of the different collectibles that I have. In the collection I do have to warn you guys unfortunately you know this is I just filmed my uh, pickups video just like 20 minutes before this this is pretty late it's after midnight now so the sun's not I wish I could have done this during the day with better lighting but you know I just I have a difficult time finding time to film videos because my wife and son are home and I don't I film it usually when if they're both sleeping or they're not here like my wife is still hasn't been isn't home from work and my son's asleep because he's got school tomorrow so this is a perfect opportunity for me to film videos because my game uh, room is our living room and I'm not gonna make my son or my wife go hang out in the bedrooms while I film video and be like oh hey can you guys go away while I um, do this you know I, I'm not gonna do that this is their home too so for me I have limited times when I can film videos so a lot of times you guys will see these videos I film them really late sometimes really early in the morning like my weekly playlist vlogs I'll film them at like three and four in the morning on Friday morning I'll film the videos and then I'll go to bed then I'll wake up upload the video and then I go to work so I do have to apologize for any lighting issues I have my other lamp out here so I may move it um, pause the video for a second for you guys uh, to get better lighting for there but I'm gonna show you guys some of the collectibles because I love them I love little figures I love the plush guys I love little statues collectors editions like you know I, I just love the uh, video game bonus stuff to go with the games and I've been buying a lot of it because I've been finding good stuff and for pretty cheap so we'll show you guys here real quick like I said not a room tour or anything but just kind of you know of some of the collectible stuff I have and you'll see that I have a blanket up. Um, unfortunately, right now, uh, five, what was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the little plastic blinds have fallen down. I gotta just take the time to buy them. And now that we're getting closer to summer, in the morning, my wife likes to open up and they get a lot of sun. So I'm actually covering up temporarily a couple of these shelves because I don't want them to get sun faded and worry about that she likes having in the morning. So until I get those blinds replaced, I have to do this temporary thing with uh, blankets. And it, place is a little mess right now like I said I just filmed the video and I just got shit everywhere so I do apologize for <laughs> any mess you guys see but I just wanted to show you some of the collectibles I have like 
I got this for five bucks in my local game store. It came with um, some Star Trek uh, characters, which I love Star Trek. So I've got Deep Space Nine, the classic Star Trek, and Next Generation. So I've got a Garrick, uh, Commander Sisko, Captain Pike, and Lieutenant Geordi LaForge. And then I also have a huge collection of boxed and complete uh, Star Trek Next Generation figures. I have a ton of these. I got them at my local stores for cheap, you know, like two, three, four, five bucks. And I have a ton of these. They're all right now in storage. These are just the four I have at home. But I have a, almost like a complete set. I just have a ton of them. But I have stuff like that. You know, I love those. Um, there's an overcooked uh, raccoon chef plush, which is pretty cool. You can't get him anymore. Um, my cat quest plushes, which I love those. Got those really hard to find from uh, Symbiote Studios. Very cool. There's my Thwomp plush that my buddy Jeff at work gave me. Very cool. Some of my uh, Amiibos and stuff. If you guys give me a second, I'm going to pause it and move um, my lamp over so we have better lighting here. So it'll be just a second. Okay. So you guys can see some of the other collectibles I have, like my Legend of Zelda um, cups from... 7-Eleven, which were a Canadian exclusive. I got them on eBay. My Mario 35 pins. Love having those in the collection. This little purple monster that my wife had, she gave me. Kept that for sentimental reasons. Uh, love these um, Club Nintendo rewards. I actually found two of them. They are a box. I put the box away. And then my work had these cool Gears of War little collectible figures on clearance for a couple dollars each. So I bought them all that I had. So that was cool. There's my little singing rabbit, which is pretty neat. Um, we sell the world of Nintendo plushes, so they always come in these boxes. We don't use them. They just go in the trash, so I've been buying them for my uh, collection to put my own stuff in there. You guys can see I have a lot of little plushes. Ninja Turtles, Mario, Crash Bandicoot, A Walking Dead. I have all my Amiibos up there, which I love displaying those. I also have some loose ones that I actually use. Some more little collectibles like Pez, pens, a little Mario set, some more Mario figures. Um, just all kinds of cool little collectibles. It's one thing from an old Easter, like this candy's old, like three or four years old now. Some more little uh, figures. Some cool, like there's a Super Mario soap thing, my Super Mario Maker, Rubik's Cube, and the uh, Snow Globe, a little Mario um, cart thing. There's a club nintendo mario Kart set i got cool pink yoshi which my wife stole from me it became hers so i had to buy another one which you'll see he's down here uh this big green yoshi there's a um mr drippy plush my wife got me and there's a porg uh, star wars thing if you squeeze him he makes a noise and then there's a rabbits one and my wife got me a cool super mario knit cap which i just put on him an old ninja turtles uh, one of my original ones from the 80s i think he's like or early 90s, you know, the one of the old turtle ones. A whole bunch of little figures that I picked up over the years at my local game stores. You know, like the McDonald's ones, and there's some other little um, collectibles. They're pretty cool. Um, Super Mario Brothers 3, the old McDonald's toys. So I got those, so that's really cool. And so I got stuff like that. You know, I just love these little collectibles, cards, old movies, balls. You know, like just, I love this stuff. It's just fun for me. I like these little collectible things. And now... Like the last stuff, I gotta move this lamp for you guys. Yeah, there we go, that'll be better. But I got a lot of things. My wife's a big fan of Funko Pops and I've got a few myself, so you'll see some of mine, but a lot of these are hers. But I got my little plushes, you know, I got my Kirby, the Toad, a whole bunch of Yoshis, which actually a couple of these Yoshis belong to my wife. Um, Mario, there's um, my old Donkey Kong, there's a Princess Peach, more Marios, a Diddy Kong, a Yoshi, my Big Mario statue with a cappy hat and a little um, bullet bill on top. I've got a cool Tails plush, a pink Yoshi and blue Yoshi. Both of those belong to my wife. She took those. My Titan Quest, my little Energizer bunny. There's my old Mario. And there's a really cool Nintendo 64 Mario that I got uh, years ago, which is cool. There's my Wicket one that my wife tried to take, but I won't let her. Um, that's my wife's Gremlins. He actually sings, which is pretty cool. And I got another Kirby there. And then uh, my wife collects uh, stuffed animals. Most of these are I bought her. She got a red Yoshi. She's got that cool um, old school Donkey Kong I got her because when I, she saw that little one, she had to have it. And then um, she has some cool little ones there. There's a little uh, 
Yoda plush, and then I recently got this Yoda Squishmallow, which the wife already stole, so now it's hers, so pretty cool stuff, and the last thing she took from me, <laughs> my mom and I bought this at a thrift store years ago, that cool little Smurf um, ceramic thing, it was handmade, it just looked cool, my mom had it for years sitting in her uh, cabinet, and it was supposed to be mine, but my wife asked for it, and my, wife, my mom gave it to her because she forgot that it was supposed to be mine, I said, hey, that was mine, well, it's mine now, so... <laughs> You know, my wife, my wife stole stuff, but I mean, we're married, so we obviously share things. I don't want anybody to think like, oh, I'm like, I would upset or something that like she took some. It's not like she really stole it and I don't like steal stuff from her. You know I mean? We're married and we share things, but I love that kind of collectible stuff. Like you guys can see, I have it everywhere. Um, I just like it. It's just fun. And I don't recommend every, and I don't think everybody, sh you know, should do it what I say you know to go don't go crazy on it like I've kind of gone crazy on it and that kind of stuff but you, you know if you like this stuff you know you can find these uh, sometimes cheap at game stores sometimes you can find them even at thrift stores you know Target you know you, you can get good deals on uh, these little collectibles and stuff so for me I love collectibles I love having them in my collection they're just something that's kind of cool but I'd like to know for you guys from you guys do you guys like buying collectibles do you like having them in your game rooms if you have a game room do you guys like having the gaming posters and stuff which I have a lot of gaming posters but I just don't have any wall space right now and I mean I could put up a bunch but I really don't want to plaster our living room with any more shit you guys already see I've got a lot of it is as it is out here so eventually when I get a dedicated game room, I would like to rotate posters out because I used to do that in my uh, room years ago. I would put stuff up and then take down and put new things up and just so I would rotate them just to keep the room fresh and new looking. But I do love getting collectibles like here's another one here and then my parents got me this cool new super uh, Saiyan blue Goku. So, you know, I just love collectible stuff. I've always loved it as a kid. Toys and collectible things like that. I mean, I even got a... Um, on this side real quick to show you guys here I almost forgot about that is I have my Gears of War 3 statue but I have my old Ghostbusters firehouse still have it in really good condition I have the car but it's not in there but you know I got that little uh, collectible there that's been in the uh, living room and you know it's a pretty cool piece that I love having in my collection but I just love having uh, collectibles in my collection I like buying them and having them in my game room. For me, I feel they enhance it. They enhance the games, especially the Nintendo stuff, because I'm a huge Nintendo fan. You know, Mario is what, and the NES is what got me into a gamer, and that's what made me a gamer today. So you guys will see a lot. You guys obviously saw I have a lot of Nintendo stuff, just because I love Nintendo and their uh, collectible stuff. But again, I would like to hear, do you guys like to buy collectibles? Do you guys like collecting them and that kind of stuff? I would love to hear from you. You guys can answer the question as a comment, or you can do a video response. Now, if you guys do a video response, please leave a link as a comment so I can check it out because I would hate to miss it. I almost missed out on one of my um, buddy's videos, Nick T. Wolf, he made one. For some reason, stupid YouTube deleted the um, link. If for some reason you share it with me and it does delete it, just let me know and I'll go to your video and copy and paste the link myself because I don't like YouTube doing that shit where they dictate the comments and stuff like let me let me as the creator decide if I want to comment delete it don't do it for me I don't need somebody there to being a babysitter like let me do my own channel but you know it is what it is but I would love to hear from you guys so you guys can do a comment you can answer this question you can do a video response if you want to do both I would love that and you'll get two entries into the uh, contest at the end of the series I just want to thank you guys so much for participating in this series you guys are awesome and amazing, and I love each and every one of you and that you guys have been supporting my channel. You guys are great. I want to uh, thank you for watching. Take care. Have an amazing day. Sleep it. We'll see you guys next time.